Hi everyone, I am Rinki. Welcome to another wonderful episode of Inky with Rinki. And we decode everything about skincare and the cosmetic world, one ingredient at a time. But today we are talking something completely different. Guess what? I'm going to give you a clue. Before you lather your favorite body wash or open up that beautiful bottle of serum or swipe that red lipstick, have you ever wondered what your brain is going through? What is your brain judging? Even before your skin hair gets to it, what is creating impression on your subconscious mind? It's not the taste. It's not the scent. It's definitely not the ingredients. It is the packaging. Now, why is packaging so important? In today's episode, we're going to talk all about cosmetic packaging. Why are the brand spends millions on designing a beautiful cosmetic packaging, the every single nuances and the details about it? Why a cosmetic packaging can so much influence the consumer experience? Correct product in a wrong packaging can completely ruin a product performance. Presence is equally important for the ingredients that goes and makes those beautiful formula. And that me telling as a cosmetic scientist. So buckle up all the beauty nerds. Today, we're going to talk in the deep dive of the science, psychology, and the sheer magic of cosmetic packaging. But first off, let's start the journey with some gratitude. So thank you everyone, Inky with Rinky family. Now I have 3,800 of subscribers. I couldn't believe myself. Thank you for all the love, support, cares to keep growing an amazing community. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video if this helps you. Share it with someone that might benefit from it. So today we are talking packaging 101, all things cosmetic packaging. What's in a box, a jar, or a tube turns out to be a lot more than what you think. So let's get started. In the simplest form, packaging is the home of the product. It is where the product resides before it makes your way to home, hair, faces, or bath and body. So it is more than a container. A packaging is used in a beauty industry for three primary reasons. First up, protection and preservation to keep formula fresh, stable and free of contamination. So that is the primary objective of the packaging. Second is convenience and functionality. Easy to use, easy to store, easy to dispense. Again, a wrong packaging can ruin a consumer experience. Have it happened to you? It definitely has happened to me where you actually are using a very thick lotion and you're constantly pumping but nothing is coming out and you're frustrated. The formula may be really good but it is just probably have a wrong pump or a wrong bottle that is not designed to dispense that kind of viscosity. It definitely has happened to me. Think again, it might have happened to you. Or have you taken a shampoo bottle where you open up and a lot of things comes out, a lot of it, and you feel, oh, that's a waste. That's why packaging is so important. And finally, the angle that nobody thinks about, the brand storytelling and marketing. A packaging can create a sensory experience that will help the consumer to make a conscious decision to buy and buy again. A right packaging is so much more than a pretty bottle. It's a science-backed technology to win over your senses to keep your favorite products in the peak condition. If you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button now and share it with your fellow beauty enthusiast. So ever held a bottle and felt, oh, it feels so premium. Nope. That's not an accident. Let me tell you as a true insider of the beauty community, packaging sets the tone for everything that follows. A luxury skincare brand would never be found in a very flimsy packaging. Or a clean beauty brand would never be found using a non-recyclable material. They would always tend to use recyclable packaging or use recycled content. How a product feels, dispense, and yes, the weight of it influences a consumer mind. Much more on a premium perspective. That tactile experience, whether it's weighty, smooth, whether it's cheap or flimsy, tells a lot of story about the brand that the consumer is experiencing. The use of it, the ease of use of it, the sustainability perception, whether it's refillable, whether it's recyclable, is it too much of packaging for a small quantity? There is a lot of brands that 
have done it so wonderfully in terms of creating and talking that brand story through and through across all the SKUs. And some brands, it's still a learning curve. So let's get to into the details of it. If you want to understand the science behind the packaging, how a packaging shape and color influences. Let me explain it for you. How do you think when you see something on the shelf on your favorite beauty aisle, you feel jumping inside you and you feel like literally I need to buy it right now. Put it in my cart. I need to buy right now. Have you ever found yourself into that kind of situation? I know I have. And it's not an accident. It is a lot of work by several experts and brand marketing, packaging, material experts that works behind for this success story to happen. Let me give you a few examples. When a brand designs a tall and slim bottle, it commonly says premium, sophisticated, high tech. A chunky rounded jar, more of a comforting, indulgent, luxurious point of view. Brands, when they're using pastels or soft hues. So that's gently talking about soothing, skin friendly. It gives you that connotation from the back of your mind. Metallic fonts or bold finishes. So that's actually talks about high performance, edgy. Metallic tend to give a much more futuristic, advanced or a result driven sometimes. So beauty brands actually use these visual cues for consumers to be influenced by the behavior. So long before you read the label, just like when you're glancing at the beauty aisle, it is already creating perception in the back of the mind. Even the shape and the color has a huge impact. It tells your brain whether it is something high end or natural, gentle, high performance. It is creating opinions inside your brain. And that is the effect of packaging on you, my ladies. That is the effect of packaging on to your life really. So logos are an important part of packaging, not the complete of it, but some of it. So why do you think the font of a beauty product is telling you a story? A brand when chooses a particular font, it's not random, it's a very well calculated decision. Think of Chanel, bold, sharp, minimalistic. It immediately tells high-end luxury. Think of Glossier is one of the recent examples of a tremendous success. Rounded, soft, approachable funds, which gives a modern and fun in a single way. Think of Ordinary. They have done it so beautifully. They talk clinical, scientific, straightforward. Trust and efficiency is all written into the choice of fund. So a fund tells us who the brand is, what they stand for, even before you get to the product. So if you're liking this video, don't forget to subscribe. More deep dives to the beauty world coming soon. I am Rinky, your favorite cosmetic scientist bestie. And if you know me, welcome back. So in the sea of beauty, there are so many launches that happen across the globe over the years and how a unique packaging can shape your mind of or creating a brand identity and creating a brand signature. Custom innovative designs can create user experience, really. And consumers keep coming back for that unique appearance. So think of recent examples like Fenty's hexagonal compact. So they're designed for easy to easy stacking storage and making organization much more effortless and eye catching, I would say, or Dior's refillable lipsticks. I think they're super luxe, supreme. I love them. They are sustainable, offering a tactile yet high end experience with a strong eco conscious appeal. Think of Drunk Elephant's airless pumps. They are unique and the twist dispensing action tells you about it, minimizes waste, also protects the beautiful formulas inside without an option to get oxidized. So a stronger formula can stay much more stable in an airless drink. I also like Tatcha's recent, like the scoop integrated jars, elegant built in with the golden spatula. It immediately elevates the journey of the self-care. That's what the brand stands about. So custom packaging is not just about hooks. It's about creating an emotional connection with its own consumer. If a product is intuitive, fun, satisfying to use, consumers tend to likely to purchase and keep coming back. So it increases the repeat sales. So 
that you can understand there's a lot goes behind the packaging there are different kind of packaging per se so in the world of beauty packaging you would see a lot of lotions in the tube or a pump the choice of pump depends on the choice of viscosity a lot of creams are generally preferred either in a tube or in a jars jars tend to be a little bit more on the expensive side than the tube but again tubes can be really expensive based on the top of uh, the head or the material or whether the the tube have a EVOH barrier which basically a special barrier that protects the formula so the material is not interacting with the packaging material itself so if you want more detail leave a comment I will do a much more deep dive episode uh, where we go inside the materials of the packaging coming back to the form I think uh, pumps are a very important feature of the packaging industry that is used for the beauty world there are several kinds of pump the latest being the most material pump i think only a few brands have used it so far it's definitely going to change the industry generally pumps have a spring there are few really single material or the mono material pumps that has come alive and i know a few suppliers who are working extensively in the industry mono material pump makes them recyclable which is a game changer there are aluminium tubes and recycled aluminium tubes which are used in sampling form which actually has changed the game for the mono dose sampling where beauty industry used to use a lot of waste in the single dosage products so that definitely has changed what else i can think of of course we have talked about pump we have talked about jars we have talked about airless pump uh, and jars can be various i think it can be glass jars it can be uh, polypropylene jars it can be pd jars now there are jars that you can take out the middle section and uh, you can use a refillable option so there are not a lot that you can think of in the packaging world and there are fine prints of different kinds of printing technology available on this packaging there are different kind of finishes like emboss deboss there is a lot of things that goes before the beautiful products reaches to you and there is an array of people who are working behind the scene to make this vision come alive there are allographics there are packaging material expert who actually chooses the right material there are product functionality experts and then there are marketing and brand strategist so a lot goes behind the scene in the beautiful world of beauty but for today that's a wrap so next time when you pick up a product take a second to appreciate the packaging it is meticulously designed it is there to enhance your experience it is there to build your connection so whether you're a beauty brand never underestimate the power of a well-crafted bottle jar or a tube because Fast impression is the last impression and a long lasting impression. And packaging is here to create that brand journey for you. So keep this conversation going. Tell me what is your favorite packaging that drives you crazy or what product has made the MVP list of your packaging choices? Slide to my DM, drop me a comment here. Don't forget to share and subscribe this episode. I am Rinky and you are watching Inky with Rinky. Until next time, stay curious, stay radiant and stay informed. See you soon. Bye.